Hey, mama's babies. I am sucking at this online thing. I know. I'm trying. I promise I'll do better. I will try to set up a Zoom. I want to see your beautiful faces. If you haven't done so, text me your answers to the questions we've had so far. Um, so usually on the board, I write a quote a week. I've been forgetting to do that. So the function of an education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of a true education. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So basically, you know, to look at things from all sides and then make a decision that's informed. And character, well, man, you need it. We all need it. All right, new assignment. You got a week. This is going to count like a, I don't know what y'all think, test grade. So this isn't a, like, you know, yeah. Next Thursday, make something for someone. Write me a paragraph about it can be via text. Y'all know that. Create a meal, a card, a drawing, a sign, a song, a dance, a video, a smile. I know with this mask on, we can't really see people smile. That's why I drew a smiley face on mine. Um, make or create something for someone else and tell me about it. One paragraph. It'd be the smallest thing or the biggest thing. You are creative. It doesn't matter what it is. Just do something for someone else and tell me about it. All right. Woohoo! Three for one lecture. We're going to just cover all kind of crap. So, subject matter. What the image literally depicts. So, last week I showed you this. I gave you a two-parter question, right? It was, one, what do you see immediately? And then, two, what does it mean? So, normally, we would be having a class discussion about this. Unfortunately, we can't or whatever. It sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to get over it, y'all. Trying. So, just immediately, you would see barbershop, right? So the subject matter is what the image literally depicts. That's it. No more meaning, no more looking into it. That's the subject matter. Now, beyond that is a lot, right? And no one's answer is wrong. It's your opinion and what and, and how you see. There's no wrong way to see through your eyeballs and all. And y'all described it as colorful and all that. Some of y'all caught on to what, that they weren't, um, that, you know, the barbershop is like social, uh, interaction and everything. And here, no one's being social, you know, like one guy's on his phone, one guy's looking out the mirror window, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so it's almost the antithesis of what. The barbershop means to the community. You know, it's almost like the corner store. You know, but movements have happened out of the barbershop. You know, you find out, uh, you know, about what's going on, about culture and politics and just everything, life, and who are, how your neighbors doing and what Miss So and so is cooking on Sunday and whatever. Like it's sense of community. It's, it's just, it's, it's so tied in. So anyway, I could go on and on, but I really wish I had y'all to talk to and have a conversation. Okay. I'll shut up. So this is like what I normally would write on the board for some of this stuff. Y'all can go back to this, but, um, that's like a picture of the board from last semester that I found. Okay. So texture, pattern, time, motion. We're just going to cover the rest of the four elements. Impasto is a thick buildup of paint on the surface of the canvas. Impasto 
is an Italian word for thickly applied paint. Think, um, like paste. I don't know. Actual, you can touch it. Visual, it looks like it. But I'll, I'll get into that. All right. We got Michelangelo's Pieta. People used to rub like on the foot of the statue. It got really, really smooth. Um, now it's behind bullet tooth proof glass because people have shot at it and taken an axe to it. Robert Ryman paints with white paint only. So this kind of green and gray you see in here are shadows because he uses thick, thick brush strokes of the white paint to make this impasto look. Um, this is partially bronze of her body and um, like a casting into a painting. So it has actual texture. Whereas this is a photograph. So of course the planet has actual texture and it took this picture of a farm, um, from like an airplane, but it's a picture, it's a photograph. So it's as smooth as whatever you're watching, you know, this on. So it's visual texture because if you touched it, it would be smooth. This is Impasto, Portrait of a Father. He's got some serious daddy issues. He used a palette knife, not just a brush, but like went in there and dug in and he just put a lot, a lot of thick paint on there and he like carved into it, like decorating a cake. An angry, angry cake. This is super, super smooth, but we understand the texture of the flowers and the petals and the leaves and the, the, the you know, so it's like implied texture. I think this is freaking hilarious chocolate mousse. So this looks like chocolate, right? Like ooey gooey, sticky, ooh, yummy chocolate. But it's actually ceramic. It's cold. If you drop it, it breaks like a plate. It's ceramic. Nobody wants hair in their food. So the Dada's, the anti-art movement, made he made uh oppenheim made this this is actual texture it's 3d it's really made out of fur and he made this nasty nasty cup i don't want my gumbo out of that in the spoon everything's got fur on it hair kinetic art is art that moves so here's one of the mobiles by calder when the wind blows it moves like over a baby's crib that or you just put a ceiling fan and babies are like you know what? Amazed. This is Lynn Emery. She's from New Orleans. This is in the Sculpture Garden at City Park. And it actually moves. Her art is all kinetic art that moves. Um, implied motion. I don't know. Just, all right. I got a story about this. All right. So this is the Basketball Superstars. And Wilt the Stilt was going out, and my man, my favorite all-time sports person, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, was coming in. And I used to have this. This was like a poster, but really it was like free book covers you got for your books before they had book socks at, from Burger King. And I had this hanging in my room, over my, and I was so excited and thought this was just like the best thing ever. And I loved it. It was the only thing hanging... And I came home one day and my mama used this as wrapping paper. Took my poster off my wall. So I have been upset about it for years. Y'all, last year I found a print of it. And not expensive either. And I now have it hanging up. And I am so happy. Okay. But wait. What was she doing? Oh, implied motion. So, right, it, they're like jumping and blocking and dunking and just, right, all these things are going on. Implied motion. But it's a painting, so it just stop. But, it, I mean, you can feel the energy. And go NBA and go WNBA. Yes. All right. New descent in the staircase. He studied motion. And this is right when, like, the photograph was coming in. So he like watched how the body moves down a staircase. 
But here you go. I'm going to show you my little puppy dog. And my poor little puppy dog. It's a running and a running and a running. It got no legs. And and all. And she, this woman, she got him on the leash. And she's running, running. He got itty bitty legs. Woman, slow down. This is implied motion. It's a painting. The only way it's moving is I pick it up and run with it. And I'm sure I'll get arrested if I do that. So, but you can't go to a damn museum right now anyway. But. It's implied motion because we see his little him little legs and him little tail like he just a running, 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 running. But it's not going anywhere. It's a painting. So it's implied. Bernini could do it with stone, you know. She's saying, Dad, help. Don't let this man come after me. And she looks back at him. Hey, and Daddy, turn me into a tree. But she's still kind of like, yeah, right. Anyway, this is amazing in person. And so you can see her toes are starting to turn into tree roots and her fingers starting to turn into leaves. And you can like see through it almost. I don't know how I made it. And Bernini's David. I mean, you can feel that muscle being pulled back and he's got his eyes intent on he's going to get his Goliath, you know. And so there's like this implied motion like you just ready for him to let that thing go but that thing has been sitting like that for 400 years scale each panel is 80 by 170 inches i finally saw this in person i have a whole crazy story that goes with this but man i know y'all probably just like what but it's freaking huge so that's one, this is one section, this is the other section. And there's three of them, 80 by 170. So they, like they needed an entire floor of a museum. And so it just surrounds you. You cannot see the whole thing at one time. This is a photograph. We have one of these. They made 13 of them, I think. And we have one. And so it's supposed to be like somebody running. So it's implied motion. And this is pretty much actually, I don't know why this lady's having a tantrum. She is. She's sick of making damn potatoes. So, op art. Okay. I don't know how this woman paints these things. I'm going to go through these too quick. But it vibrates or moves the eye. Y'all can stay on them as long as you want. But this next one, I don't know how she paints it. It like, it kind of moves a little bit. Like, uh, like breathing or undulate. We can also track time. So for four years, this artist took pictures of her niece. And so like at a pivotal age from like nine to 13 or something like that, where you, you know, kids really, really change and they go from that baby and then kind of child. And, and then they go into that teen thing and, you know, 13 is just awful. It is. It's just so hard. Okay. Balance. Here's the Vitruvian man. He's balanced. Contraposto. The relaxed pose. We'll see this later. You see how he's kind of leaning to one side. There's an S curve. He's like chilling. Because this is how you would normally stand. I'll, when I get to King Khafre from Egypt. We'll, we'll talk about that. Symmetrical. Here you go. The Taj Mahal. Y'all all know what this symmetrical means. It means like if you fold it in half, it's a mirror image. Symmetrical. Here's asymmetrical. Here's asymmetrical. That's a fake. Okay. It's not fake. But radial balance. It's a circle. So it from, you know, it's like from the middle and it goes out all sides like radius. So here's a rose window. Here's a, this is hilarious. But anyway, here's this CNSA radio balance. This is an animal spirit channeling device for the contemporary shaman. All right, so the focal point, where the artist wants us to look, it says Joseph the carpenter, but the child's face is more illuminated. Here, that's not a bad photograph with a flash. He actually painted that kind of white light going up to that crib in that window like going hey look at this we don't realize it but he directs us through the painting with the complementary color of the orange and the blue sweaters with the uh, stairs that go up and then the 
tiles that go across and come back down and we're actually are we keep moving through this picture around and around and around mentally but don't realize it but the artist has composed a good composition when it makes you keep going through it and then this is a focal meaning we don't know what the hell he was doing size and scale we've got a uh, old uh, uh, Klaus Odenberg sculpture in the sculpture garden again it's free and it's open seven days a week and it's outside um and so here's one of his and he makes these just every ordinary day objects just giant which it's a bridge i don't know about a spoon bridge okay and then here he's got some normal size stuff and then some giant stuff so i don't know what magritte's doing but scale here, Mount Fuji. So everybody calls this a wave, you know, right? Or with a great wave, whatever. But way in the back there is Mount Fuji. And so it's pretty funny, funny that that's the subject matter we're supposed to look at, whatever. Um, he installed all over when the AIDS epidemic was just ravaging uh, people. He installed these empty beds, like to, um, I'm sorry, we're supposed to be looking at the billboard of empty beds to kind of evoke loneliness or that somebody's not there anymore or whatever. And so, um, yeah. Okay, the grid, harmony, blah, blah, blah. All right. So here we got repetition. We've got, you know, sameness and this beautiful, this is a mosque in Spain. I love this picture. And the uh, Kente Prestige cloth. So you've got the repetition, you know, over and over of the elements. Jacob Lawrence, barbershop. Um, so we'll see over and over again in his Harlem series these same greens, reds, blue, the same colors. We'll see those same trapezoids, with, like these shapes. You know, we're going to see, that the, you know, you're going to know it's Jacob Lawrence immediately. But he based this off of Rodin's The Three Shades. Layla Ali uses that blue color in that background. She uses the, what she calls the basketball head, but that's her thing. But she uses the belt, the noose, the imagery, all this repetition um, to try to make it not as horrific as it is. I don't know. The grid can unify. The grid. Everybody knows what a grid is? Okay. Um, so realistic and representational. Here's representational. Like, we understand what this is representation we get it right we understand but it's a cartoon so people don't really look like this in real life right so here we understand here's like one woman comfort and the other like it's okay and i got all kind of just things that i made up about this painting but anyway it's a representational because if you start seeing people with squiggly lines like that, then you better check what you're drinking or smoking because they don't really look like that. All right. This, she says, two figures. We got to just trust her. Realistic. Looks like real life. Representational. We know what it is, but it does not look like real life. Here's realistic. These are the borings. Look at them. They look like they would just feed you like a potato with nothing. Anyway, Grant Woods American Gothic, and it's realistic. This is a photograph. It's realistic. Conceptual art. The idea that the um, idea is just as important as the work of art. W O A. If I use that again. So this is about the idea. And then you've got abstract. 
She says voodoo. Okay. Um. Da, da, da. I'm just going to like. All right. So here we have David's Death of Murat. Murat. And so if you like know French history, um, whatever, then I guess you would know what this is. I can understand Sandow's Burke, Death Emmanuel. I can understand what colors represent. I can understand time period, the 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 car, the the bullet hole, like everything makes sense to me. Um, and some people can say plagiarism, or some people would say highest form of flattery. I'm not going to get into that debate, but the image on the right, I get it more than I understand the one on the left because I don't know, you know, French history or whatever. But I, so I'm like, y'all, I was alive in 92. Anyway, <laughs> I know, shut up. And so, um, David just was just spot on in realism, though. Basquiat, Charles the First. That's after Charlie Bird Parker, musician. Um, so Basquiat died at a young age, and of course his prices for his art skyrocketed. I just like that this says plumpity plump because don't you always get that throat off basket? I do. Oh my God. I got to tell y'all a story about this. All right. I'll hurry because we're doing a three for one. So you remember three for one. Um, so the Brooklyn Museum had this years ago and Ruli Giuliani <laughs> Rudy Giuliani was mayor back then of New York City. And it's before his cheese done slid off his cracker and he turned into I don't know what he is. Um I don't I don't want to insult bats. So he told everybody, don't go to the Muse Brooklyn Museum. There's this painting and it's got elephant poo on it, blah 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 blah. And he so you know what everybody did? They went to the Brooklyn Museum and it became world famous and now it's huge. So when you tell people not to do something and you bring interest to it, something, it's right. Oh my God, they had a fit about this. I don't remember what I want to talk about. We already saw this implied motion. Here's implied motion. Here is, so public art. Here is, um... The Vietnam Memorial, Maya Lim was 22, 21 or 22 when she beat out 1,500 entries for this. So this is in D.C. And she did the black granite. And when you're reading the names of the soldiers that died in Vietnam, you see your reflection back on you. This is public art. It's outside. It's free. There's sky in the picture. This is one of the first pieces under the... Um, an NEA award grant, grant an art, um, an art grant in the sixties. This is on St. Claude, the Tubman 20. So hopefully we can get this back running, but, uh, everybody, September 22nd is registered to vote day. I'm going to get back to that later, another day. Okay, so this no longer exists because people didn't want to walk around it. Um, they are, The original, this is a copy of the original David. The people didn't want a naked guy in their square, so they went and hid him. And so this is where it was originally supposed to be, so they made a copy and put it there years later. It's about border crossings. And it's about the sale of human hair. And this is a homeless vehicle. And we just not even go worry about this Tootsie Pop thing. All right, y'all. Namaste.